Hi, I'm Julia Piotta. I am a life and health coach, and I help women to create healthier relationships with themselves so they can have healthier, more fulfilling lives and relationships with those around them. So in my last video, I was talking about things that I did when I was feeling in this low vibe mood. And today I wanted to kind of tag off of some of the things that I shared within that video. Um, I was talking about how I was going to each room in my house and just, you know, looking at what in that room didn't feel good to me. What, what did I want to shift or change in that particular room? So that kind of ties in what I want to talk about today, and it's creating an environment that is really aligned with the vision or the goal that you are trying to create in your life. And I'm going to, I'm going to keep this more so related to creating a new relationship. So if you're someone single, you maybe are out dating, maybe you're not dating at all, and you're really looking to just draw the right person, you know, back into your life. So someone that truly, you know, resonates with you, has maybe similar interests and values, whatever that may be. Um, but what I want to talk about is looking at your surroundings. So in your home, noticing what, what type of energy does your home environment reflect? This is something that is definitely not talked about very much at all. You will find other people, you know, mostly on YouTube, probably that are talking about these types of things, but I, I don't hear it very often at all. So I just wanted to share this. Um, a lot of times I will hear, you know, suggestions about, you know, if you're trying to draw a relationship into your house, you could look at your living room, for example. So if you looked at your living room, does it have, if you're a woman, so if you're a woman, does it have this really like feminine, frilly, flowery, you know, girly, too girly type vibe to it? And what you can do is really balance out that feminine energy with more masculine items in that room. So if you are looking for masculine items, you could, or visuals, I should say, you could go on Pinterest or Google, different things. Um, you know, think more like nature related, wood, um, you know, textures that would be more of that masculine energy. And you can balance out the feminine in that room with the masculine. Another great thing that I put into practice as well was you could think about this. If you're going on a date with someone or you're trying to manifest this date into your life, you could go out go shopping and buy yourself either a new shirt or a new full outfit, even though you don't have your date set up yet and just buy it, buy it. It's there. You're putting your intention out into the universe that, you know, this is what you're calling in. You're calling a date into your life. I did this one time with not for dating, but I wanted to do some public speaking. I had, one opportunity that I had at my last job where I did my first ever public speaking event. And I thought, you know, that was really fun. I want to do that again. So I didn't really care for the clothes that were in my closet. And I'm like, you know what, I'm going to go and buy a, a few items. So when I get that public speaking event, I'll be prepared. So I literally like I shit you not, I went out, I bought like five different shirts and I ended up getting, I know there's at least three different businesses that I can think of off the top of my mind. Four, I got four different ones that I ended up going and doing kind of like health coaching related speaking events at these different companies. So that was pretty cool. Um, one thing I did for my business, this is exciting. So when I knew I wanted to have a life coaching business, but I was scared as shit to get my ass out there and you know, I'm like, I don't fucking know how to build a business. Like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm like, all right, let's think about, you know, some different manifesting techniques that you could take action on to just set the intention out there. 
And before I had anything going on at all, I just decided I'm gonna order myself some business cards. Sounds weird, but uh, well, here I am. I've got a coaching business. I'm not saying it was just the business cards, but again, setting the intention out there, drawing it back to you. So back on track here to looking at this in a relationship aspect. So if you're someone who's single and you own your own home or you have an apartment, whatever it is, wherever you live, look at your space. Is there room in your home to welcome someone into it? Maybe you don't want that person to move in with you. That's completely fine. They aren't necessarily going to move in with you. But can you look in your house and look at it? Is it completely cluttered? Is it too full to welcome someone in to your life? Um, I've cleared off like a shelf in my medicine cabinet, a shelf in my closet. They say, you know, uh, clear out a drawer in one of your dressers or some closet space. These are some things that you could do to just, again, set the intention out there. Notice, you know, what things do you have? Maybe you're you're rocking like a twin bed or something and or no bed. I do know someone that doesn't have a bed. Um, and if you're watching this video, go buy a bed. I think you'll draw a relationship into your life, you know, with having these things. So what we're reflecting in our environment, you know, like that's what we're calling in. If we're, we're having this twin bed, maybe go out, buy a full or a queen size bed, you know, have two pillows, maybe a nice comforter set and draw that into your life. So look around and look at your home and reflect upon where does it say, you know what, this is like a super single place, there's no room for you, or this is just me. Um, I literally just cleared off some, I noticed like my shampoo bottles and my base cleanser and whatever were kind of scattered in my shower. So I'm like, you know what, let's, let's actually put more intention out there. Let's move these bottles over to the side where the other stuff is and now we've got some empty shelves in the shower too. I'll keep you updated too if I, if I draw someone in. Um, but these are just some great ideas. One more I do want to share that's extremely important and these are tips that you can apply for anything. It doesn't have to be just related to like dating or relationship. Think about it beyond that. Beyond you know, dating, relationships, it could be related to health, finances, maybe it's wanting to draw in more friendships. Another great thing that I do, I black out time in my calendar and I just create, you know, let's say a few hours or whatever it is in the evenings, several times a week to either go on a date or slash hang out with a friend, you know, depending upon what it is. Um, but this helped greatly with drawing more time with friends, whether it's meeting new friends or just being more intentional and again, shooting it out into the universe. Hey, I'm open to receiving, you know, more time to get out and socialize, more time to get out and start dating. Um, if you're someone that's just in a space where you you book yourself so full and you're so busy and you're like, you know, I just don't have time for dating. I really highly encourage you, if you are absolutely serious about wanting to date and to draw a wonderful relationship into your life, look at your schedule. What could you start, you know, skimming down on? Let's say you do a lot of watching of TV. Maybe you're out and about and you go to a ton of events during the week. Where can you create space in you know, your week to start drawing in these, these new opportunities? So I just put this as a repeat reminder each week, the same day, same times, every week, are uh, reflecting you know, just this open space of when I'm I'm saying, hey, I'm available. I'm open to receiving, you know, this socialization or this dating experience. And this is really just like a mental prep, a rewiring of the mind, a rewiring of your day-to-day -day living. You know, when a lot of people are like, I want, I want this thing, I want this relationship, but they don't see how it's possible for them when they're super busy. 
So I would tell you, start small. Think about how many days per week do you want to hang out with someone and create the time. We have to create the time no matter what it is. I hear this so much with health goals. People want a healthier body. They want to feel better. They want to shed weight, right? But they don't have time. Maybe they come in and they, they work with me and they pay for my program and all of a sudden they're like, well, I don't have time to do this. My question for you is how fucking bad do you want this? Because you definitely don't want it bad enough if you're not creating the time. I'm going to stop here because you know me, I'm, I'm all like fucking serious about this shit. So I will stop here because I feel so passionate about this, but I feel that this is enough for you. Let me know, are you currently practicing this right now where when you want something, you intentionally take action in, from a place of faith and trust, super important, you're having faith and trust. When I went and I had business cards created, even though I had no freaking clue what the hell was gonna happen to try to get a business started. I went out, I did it. I went out and I bought the shirts for the public speaking events that nobody was even reaching out to me to come and do. Faith and trust, right? Two things, faith and trust. And then the third thing is actually taking that action. Can you do those things? Leave me a comment, let me know. Is this something that you're currently practicing? Are you willing to go out there and do this? Or is there a resistance in you coming up? I will tell you, there's gonna be a resistance. If you're new to this, you're probably thinking, wow, you are on some fucking crack right now. But I'm not clearly because I put these experiments to the test and I draw back exactly what I am t intending to receive. Um, so I encourage you, step out of your comfort zone, give it a shot. Let me know how it goes. Leave me a comment, send me a message. I wanna know if you put something into action and you receive it back. Um, but that's where I will leave this at today. Again, feel free to click on the link in the description section to set up a discovery call with me if you're interested in learning about working with me one-on-one. -on -one. I hope you have a wonderful day today.